Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great. And happy Mother's Day to all moms and those who act as moms towards us, who are loving and, and mothering and accepting even when we don't deserve it, especially when we don't deserve it. Um, in honor of Mother's Day, we have three of our own parishioners who will be uh, sharing what how faith influences their being moms or a grandmother. So thank you to Abby. Where's Abby? Oh, they're in the back, yes. Abby and Lynn and Deb uh, for doing that. We're really grateful. And um, today is Family Mass, so we're all in this together. So we'll have some easier songs to sing. So if there's any songs in there you're wondering, what is that, don't worry. We'll teach you it, okay? And we have our junior choir helping lead us in worship and giving the anthem. So we're grateful to them. And they're going to be taking a... Um, a very familiar song, He's Got the Whole World in His Hands, and changing it to She's Got the Whole World in Her Hands, because our God is a mother in God, too. Uh, and God, it, it, Jesus says, oh, I would be like a hen over you, you know? So there's lots of female images of God in Scripture as well. So we're, it was requested, and so we're granting that request. So our opening hymn is number eight, Morning Has Broken, in the blue hymnal. Continue in the Red Book of Common Prayer on page 355 with Eucharist Rite 2. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires are known. And from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, ascended far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. Mercifully give us faith to perceive that according to his promise, he abides with his church on earth, even to the end of the ages. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love toward all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put his power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. This is the word of the Lord. So please stand and speak with me. Psalm 93 which we will read responsively, breaking at the asterisk. God acts within every moment. And the world to be God speaks from the center of the universe. In the all Mightier than the crash of a thunderstorm Mightier than the roar of the sea. is God's voice silently speaking. In the of the heart. Now remain standing. We're going to do a new song today that everybody can sing, okay? So everybody's on the same playing field. No adults have the words. We're all going to do it together, okay? And it goes like this. And you can do different, different words each verse, and you'll understand after the, uh, the Mother's Day reflections why we're choosing some verses. So it goes like this. Love, 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 just a little bit of love. Love, 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 just a little bit of love. Well, let me just, okay, sorry. Let me just sing the whole thing because I'm not good at like repeat after me. So uh, it goes love, 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 just a little bit of love. Love, 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 just a little bit of love. Well, you don't need a whole lot. Just use what you got. Love, 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 just a little bit of love. And then we'll do another one, okay? So let's try that. Ready? Love, 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 just a little bit of love. Bom, 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 love, 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 just a little bit of love. Well, you don't need a whole lot. Just use what you got. Love, 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 just a little bit of love. So let's try hope. Hope, 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 just a little bit of hope. Bum, bum, bum. Hope, 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 just a little bit of hope. Well, you don't need a whole lot. Just use what you got. Hope, 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 just a little bit of hope. All right, how about strength? Strength, 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 strength just a little bit of strength. Bum, 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 strength, 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 just a little bit of strength. Well, you don't need a whole lot. Just use what you got. Strength, 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 just a little bit of strength. Okay, this is for someone giving the Mother's Day reflection. Patience, 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 just a little bit of patience. Bum, 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 patience, 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 just a little bit of patience. Well, you don't need a whole lot. Just use what you got. 
Patience, 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 just a little bit of patience. One more time with love. Love, 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 just a little bit of love. Bom, 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 love, 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 just a little bit of love. Well, you don't need a whole lot, just use what you got. Love, 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 just a little bit of love. Good. And you'll be singing that all week, and you'll either love me or hate me. <laughs> The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my Father promised, so stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And while he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated, Lord Christ. Please be seated for our reflections. Good morning. I'm Abby Mathewson. I'm a member of the Vestry, uh, and my primary focus is the lifelong spiritual formation. Um, but I'm also the mother of two little children, Cora and Rowan, who I think you probably have seen running around. Um, Cora is about four, and Rowan is um, two. And um, Pastor Nancy asked us to talk about how faith has changed us, or how we work through faith as being a, a mother, and mine is about being a mother of young children. And for me, it's been a re-examining of my faith and what it actually means because we are in the why stage. Why this and why that? And so you can't necessarily go on what you th thought you knew and the routine of what you do, so you have to be a little bit more mindful about um, how you live out your faith in your daily life. And so I'm going to try and give a couple examples of that. The first one is, is Advent, this past Advent. And in years gone by, I've gotten kind of routine with what I do. So trying to find the Advent wreath, um, thinking about, you know, Advent calendars and having the, you know, saying the daily scripture piece that leads up to Christmas and then considering what we might have for family traditions. But that was fairly mundane. And for a four-year-old, she was planning for a birthday party. Like, so she was preparing for, the, for a birthday and being mindful about, you know, the celebration that really takes place with that. And so it was a very um, much more anticipatory and celebratory Advent than I'm used to. It's always been joyous, but it's not been quite the, you know, getting ready that only a four-year-old can do. Um, and so she took just absolute delight in all the little things that um, I, I perhaps wasn't as mindful about or maybe was taking for granted. Like even just the appearance of Jesus in the manger in the nativity scene was a cause for excitement and celebration, which was refreshing. Um, and you know, we have some deeper conversations, too. And um, I made a note of one of the ones that we just had a, a couple of nights ago. And it went a little bit like this. Um, Mommy, do you wear a cross to remind you of Jesus? And this is when I was tucking her into bed at night. Yes, I do. Where is Jesus? He's in heaven with God. And Nana, who's my grandmother... Yes, with Nana, too. Is Jesus dead? No, he's not dead, but just a little bit different. God and Jesus are everywhere, all around us. And then after a thoughtful pause, is God in your eye? No, I don't think so. So it, trying to understand the mysteries of faith. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know, trying to understand the mysteries of faith yourself, but then trying to explain them to 
children that don't necessarily have the words for it, and, and what does that mean? Um, and how do you do that when you when you think you know something, but maybe you don't really? And um, you know, Einstein had once said, if you don't understand something enough to explain it simply, then you don't really understand it. And I'm finding with some of the questions, the who's, the where's, the how's, and the why's, because they're, um, you know, Cora especially is trying to figure out who the characters are, where they are, and how we fit into those stories in the, in the Bible stories that we read and what we learn in church. Um, I don't always have a good answer for her. And so I'm, one of the blessings of having young children I have found is a reexamining of my faith and what does it mean and sort of a refreshing of what I have learned and am now having to dust off from now decades of um, sort of taking for granted and misuse a little bit. So for that, I have been very thankful for both of our children for that. But So that, um, to me, is, has been just such a blessing for my kids to be part of that journey. And someday I will hopefully be able to explain things simply, but <laughs> today's not that day. everyone. My name is Lynn Reed. <laughs> My name is Lynn Reed. I have been coming to this church since I was right around five years old. I have two beautiful teenage daughters uh, who have both been coming to this church since they were just a few days old. About two weeks ago, Reverend Nancy asked me to speak on spirituality and motherhood when it comes to dealing with teenagers. I agreed, and then I got in my car, and I got about halfway home, and I went, oh, man, what did I just agree to? (laughs) Well, it's been a very busy, busy two weeks, and periodically throughout the two weeks, I would think to myself, ah, I've still got to think about what I'm going to say at church on Mother's Day. Well, couldn't think of anything. I could not think of a thing to say. Well, sometime between getting snails for the aquarium, which we didn't plan on getting an aquarium in the first place, and leaving the house to go get the corsage and boutonniere with my 16-year-old growling at herself in the mirror because her makeup was not coming out right, I realized I'm going to talk about the last two weeks because it really does explain it all. About not this past week, but the week before, we were all involved with Parkside Players for a production of Cinderella. I was costume director. Sarah was the assistant to the director, and she was running the curtains. And Jesse, who is usually uh, doing props managing, ended up having to pinch hit for the king because we had an actor drop out. And. I don't know how many of you are familiar with drama clubs, drama societies, but there's typically more drama that happens off stage than on. (laughs) So one of my roles was to, you know, just step in and make sure the kids were still having a good time, be silly, be zany, be crazy. I wasn't the director, so I could get away with this. Every time the director started getting a little over the top, I would step in and make her laugh, too. I really enjoyed the experience of being able to be there with these kids, be that figure that could show them that it's it's okay to still have a little fun through a stressful situation. And experiencing this with my own children was just wonderful. The show went off great. Great, I can think about what I'm going to say at church. Nope, because we had to get ready for prom. My 16-year-old was going to two proms this week, one on Friday night and one on Saturday night. And it was, it was just a crazy, crazy wild time. And I had to trust and have faith that my 16-year-old, while she was out at prom, because we all know the stories about prom nights, I had to trust that she was going to make the right decisions. I had to trust that 
I had raised her well enough to be able to make good decisions. I'm not an expert on being a mother. I don't think anyone is. But I had to trust that I had done a good enough job that where I had failed, God could step in and fill in the blanks. Everything went well. My daughter is home safely in bed right now. So I know that you know, spirituality is about trust. It's about love. It's about patience. When my girls were three months old and two years old, respectively, I was going through one of the most difficult times in my life. My husband was overseas. Our pipes had frozen in the house, and when they thawed out, we had multiple holes in several of the pipes, which we just couldn't afford to get fixed right away. So I ended up, for about three weeks, three and a half weeks, moving in with my mother in her small apartment. And it was during that time that I realized I really should have named one of my children Patience. Not because they have any, but because when I call them, I could remind myself to have some. (laughs) Now that they're teenagers, I realize I really should have named one of them Patience. (laughs) So I think that's pretty much all I really have to say. Um, Just having patience with them and trusting them and being able to let go when it's time to let go. My name is Deb Haynes. I'm a mother and a grandmother and a parishioner of St. Matthew's. Um, When I started this journey uh, through motherhood and grandmotherhood, I started with that when I held that little boy in my arms, I was going to put my imprint on him. My imprint. And as God showed me uh, that and reminded me that our children and our grandchildren are only lent to us. They are not ours. They are lent to us. They are from a gift from God. One of my prized possessions I have on. It says love. And on the back it says 1987 and the initials BM, which is a Mother's Day gift when my son was the age of Elias. So just like Abby and Lynn talked about, Our journey, my grandsons and and our journey, uh, has been surrounded by the rituals that we talk about in our faith life, like um, the Advent wreath, right boys? The Advent calendars, the nativity scene, which we all do. And and one of the things that we've done is that... uh, Alaric and Elias and I, when they were able to really speak, and Cohen, when he starts actually saying a lot more than Mama and Lili, well, we learned at mealtime, when they spent the time with us, at mealtime we learned the Lord's Prayer. So sometimes even, I mean, Elias is looking at the pages, getting to the right place in the book, and Elias, even or Alaric, even if the, the book is upside down, he's looking for that familiar prayer. We're so blessed when, when I'm so blessed, but Chris and I are so blessed, that when 
Lainey and Bob got married, they chose to live in where? And I, and yes, it's so, not so close to Kentucky, but the reason they chose where is because it was so close to St. Matthew's. They wanted their family to have this faith community um, through thick and thin, uh, hard times and good times. It, they, they love the idea. We love the idea of seeing their children baptized and raised up in this church. And they also learn about service, like singing in the choir, like going to Sunday school, Those, uh, like working in the, uh, the roadside cleanup. So they, God gets to actually, instead of Debbie putting their imprint, God gets to actually put the imprint on them. And I was wondering if this is one of my favorite prayers um, in the prayer book. If, if people wouldn't mind uh, going in to page 831. And I'm looking at the prayer 54 for those we love. And if you wouldn't mind saying it with me. Almighty God, we entrust all who are dear to us to thy never-failing care and love for this life and the life to come, knowing that thou art doing for them better things than we can desire or pray for. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. For the prayers of the people, you may stand or sit as you desire. Rejoicing in the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, we pray for the witness of the church, the wholeness of creation, and all who are in need, saying, hear our prayer. End divisions within your church, O God. Open us to receive your testimony. Make us one as you are one. Make our joy complete. Lord, in your mercy, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. We We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Rob, our bishop, Nancy, our rector, and for the people and clergy of the Church of the Good Shepherd in Nashua, where Bishop Rob is visiting this morning, Alana Van Antwerpen, Interim Rector, and Kate Sibirine, Interim Assistant. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our nourish the soil of your earth, holy God. Bless the trees planted by the water, and bless the seeds planted by birds and by our hands. Bring forth fruit in due season. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
We pray for warring nations, political refugees, peacekeepers, and for the safe and speedy return of those deployed in the armed services and for comfort for their families. Wash away the fear and hatred that tear us apart. Let justice roll down like a mighty stream. Quench our thirst for peace in every land. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those who are homeless, naked, hungry, imprisoned, abandoned, or sick, especially John, Judith Ann, Richard, Lloyd, Aaron, Eileen, Pat, Eleanor, Judy, and Lene. And for healing within ourselves and for those in our thoughts and hearts today, send us to shelter, clothe, feed, and visit those in need. Make us your healing and compassionate presence in the world. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for mothers we love and mothers we struggle to love, for adoptive mothers, stepmothers, and foster mothers, for those who long to be mothers, for everyone who has mothered us in the faith. Give rest, healing, wisdom, and strength, mothering God. Lord, in your mercy. We give thanks for all known to us who celebrate birthdays this week, including Alexander Ewing, Alyssa Bienvedis, John Yost, Ken Brown, Ellie Greiner, Mo Bedard, Michael Dumaine, Cooper Rist, Candace Cody, Ian Cody, Betty Hamilton, Keith Moore, Aaron Steffens, and Matthew Bradley and for those celebrating anniversaries this week. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for all who have died in the hope of resurrection and for all the departed. Lord, in your mercy. You give us eternal life in your Son. When doubts and fears arise, give us your peace. Sanctify us in your truth and unite us with all the saints. Lord, in your mercy. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity that, of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Please stand for the peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
I have two volunteers for Chalice. Yes, Barbara? And Deb, thank you. No, no, go ahead. Come on up, come on up. But Jane, Jane. We continue with Eucharistic Prayer B, found on page 367. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. For you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O oh Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O oh Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious Father, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son and his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ hath taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, 
These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Please come.
us pray using the prayer on page 365. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of, of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. And may God's blessing be with you, Christ's peace be with you, and the Spirit's outpouring of love be with you now and always. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you today and always. Amen. Our closing hymn is, the words are in your bulletin. She's got the whole world in her hands.